Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the daily scan for Bernanke Speaks Day, Wednesday, July 10th, 2013. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a big day. Uncle Ben is going to talk to us at 4.10 p.m., but everybody's going to try to interpret the minutes of the uh, Federal Open Market Committee at 2 p.m. today. Which is why, if you were to look at the futures, why in at least here, they're pretty flat. Nobody's making a move today um, because of this. So Ben is going to speak at 4.10 p.m., so he's waiting till after the market closes here before he talks. Interesting. I always thought he talked like right after the minutes came out. But anyway, um, I may be wrong about that. Okay, so uh, that's what's on tap for today. We have petroleum status report at 1030. And then we finish out the week with uh, jobs and um, inflation data and consumer sentiment. All right, let's uh, take a peek here. The futures here are looking, uh, I'm not sure that that's what I'm seeing on Thinkorswim for the U.S., but let's take a look at Europe. Europe uh, had a bit of a down day today. Uh, half a percent is kind of typical, so if it hangs around there, that's, kinda, that's not unusual. One uh, percent, though, is uh, sort of a, a big move in my mind anyway in any direction so you're wondering what these indexes are and I was wondering also I know they're European indexes but I never really you know looked them up to see what was what so here's a little thing that I put together the FTSE is the FTSE 100 is England the DAX is Germany, the CAC 40 is France, the FTSE Men in Black is Italy. Oh, no, that's MIB, that must mean something else. Uh, IBEX 35 is Spain, and the stock 600 is just like a combination of all European uh, indexes or trading or exchanges. So, just a little lesson here for myself and for you. All right, let's take a look at... Okay, so this is what I'm seeing on the futures here in the States is uh, flat, basically opening here with a slight pop on gold. Um, crude oil was above 105 yesterday if I remember right it must have pulled back and now it's back up again and natural gas a 3 percent increase that's pretty big for natural gas has been hanging around below three dollars for quite a while uh, well no make a liar out of me I guess not if I can pull this over here there we go yeah it's been hanging I should say maybe below four dollars for quite a while although back here and this is um, this time about this time last year it was below two dollars so we like natural gas cheap because uh, majority of recently built homes in the United States heat with natural gas so we kinda like that all right, uh, enough with the indexes. Let's take a look at our count. Uh, Apple came back nicely yesterday from the pits. Uh, it was looking like we would really get burnt on that pretty heavily. But scanning down here, everything is uh, sort of doing okay except for Netflix. And Netflix, I mean, you can't deny this particular move in Netflix. As soon as we get the data here, I mean, this is a big, powerful move. Both of these moves are big and powerful. So today I will be considering closing this put calendar 
and taking out of it what I can and maybe opening one a little bit higher here maybe I don't know 252 something or another with the same dates so here's what I'm thinking all right so let's squish this up a little bit so we can see what's going on down below okay so here's uh, everything in Netflix I have this 260 bear call here which I'm starting to get a little nervous on since it's making huge moves and that may be in some serious trouble and this is way out in August so there's it's difficult to recover from something like that uh, and it's pretty heavy you know there's like uh, two thousand dollars in risk on this puppy so that could be a biggie but I'm not gonna worry about it right now what I want to do though is tweak around this calendar so what we'll do is we'll uncheck this bear call and we'll take a look at the calendar so you can see that we're kind of uh, up here on the far edge so if I was to um, sell this one that I'm holding right now I would get three dollars and seventy two cents for it if I sold the 195 I paid four ninety four for it, so it'd be like a buck twenty five loss or so on that, and then possibly open up one here I have one at the two sixty level. Let's take a look at what they would look like, so I'd sell this one, and this is what it would look like if I just had this is pre market now sometimes this is a little goofy, but this is what it would look like if I only had um the uh, 225 so if I was to add a 260 then I would look like this and that that may be worth it or I could just add the 260 today and then I would have a triple calendar which I may do I got this idea from uh, somebody that watched the video and sent me an email and said that they had actually closed this 195 and bought one closer to the current strike and was prepared to buy another one higher if it kept moving up so in summary just keep an eye on what's going on with Netflix for today and then yesterday on the Russell I and I didn't uh, I didn't record profit and loss on that particular one but on the Russell I sold the lower strike so let's take a look here at the Russell we can take a look right here I sold that one or I uh, yeah I sold it for two dollars and seventeen cents I think I paid six for it or something like that so that one hurt a little bit took a bit of a loss on that I could find out what I paid for it here I must have had that for a pretty long time huh not showing up here Did I have it for that long Uh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Uh, the nine oh five. Yeah, I paid five twenty nine for it, and I sold it for two seventeen. So I took a bit of a hit on that one, but uh, that's the way it works. And you have some winners, and you have some losers. All right. So enough with that one. And of course the spider, I got rid of that. And this queue, we're just waiting for it to expire. We're going to, and then we'll book that loss. Okay, so Goldman Sachs also not cooperating very well. Um, but we'll see what happens. Not in any big hurry. This is an August, October calendar here. So we're just uh, biding our time and keeping our eye, watching earnings and all that kind of stuff and, and trying to figure out what it is that we're going to do. All right, let's jump right over to the A-plus list. And we'll start out with Apple. 
and thank you for your move yesterday, Apple. Brought me back up above my short strike, and I'm pretty happy with that. Closed a little weak, but that's okay. It had a nice, strong day. And you know, people take profits at the end of the day. There's a lot of day trading going on with Apple. Trust me. Uh, all right, uh, Amazon. That alert, I oh, know it was Baidu that I had the alert on. Yeah, we'll cover that in a second. Amazon not giving us an entry opportunity yet. Nice looking chart pattern though. Baidu, we did get the alert on that and I took a pass on it just because I have so much money in the market right now and I didn't see any opportunity to um, cash in on any profits. Celgene uh, had a very strong day yesterday as well and it keeps violating my trend line here. <laughs> it's like a loser. I'm going to leave that on there just to see how it works out but Celgene's looking pretty strong right now. So um, we'll see if we can hang on to expiration next Friday. Uh, CF Industries also made a very strong move yesterday. Not unusual for them. Still in a downtrend. Um, but we're getting, you know, like conflicting signals like as though it may be moving up. So this alert here to uh, add to that position is no longer valid. So I'm taking that off. Alrighty. Chipotle. Uh, we're doing okay with that. This was uh, one of those uh, risk one, reward one, one to one risk reward trade that I did last week. And that one seems to be playing out nicely for us. Oh, uh, are any new opportunities? Well, we're going to put a target down here. Just to draw our eyes to it. And if things change, then things will change. All right, gold. Gold is uh, still in these huge gaps here. It's just, it's amazing to me. Just amazing. But I'm not seeing anything there that I want to jump in on. It's just a little bit too confusing. Too many mixed signals there. We like them a little cleaner than that. Don't we? Okay, we're looking for Google to give us an entry opportunity. And that may happen. Um, big gap up yesterday and then a pullback and never really recovered from it. Interesting. But that's all it is, is interesting and hopefully it brings us down here into our target area so that we can get in on that. I think the timing's going to be good on anything that might be four or five days out because I think we're going to be cashing in on some stuff this week. All right, Goldman, a uh, little troubled child here. Uh, looking pretty dang strong. I mean, we're okay up here. Um, this put calendar, though, is not looking real good, and we have earnings coming up on 716. So, 716 is next Tuesday. Oops. So, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Alright. LinkedIn. Yeah, I mean, we might come down here into our target area and then we can jump in on this. It would have to be a shorter trade because we have earnings on August 1st. MasterCard. MasterCard's doing just fine. Secondary entry possibly here. I'm going to move this just move this over a little bit to here. 
no reason to move that over just aesthetically looks a little bit better okay um, Netflix our problem child can't deny this move this is a very strong day for Netflix what do we have here for news uh, Netflix remote control I don't know what that means yeah it's a big mover second quarter and yeah, Netflix CBS extends licensing agreement maybe that had something to do with it it could be a big competition between Netflix and Amazon for streaming video Amazon's getting a little bit stronger and of course you know I mentioned Amazon I do a lot of shopping at Amazon okay Priceline uh, looking for an opportunity to enter and not there Panera uh, also looking for an opportunity to enter and it may be coming up pretty soon so let's keep an eye on that Tesla uh, no entry opportunity in that bull run and last but not least is Visa um, okay a couple days of pullback here kind of unusual but we're still not really worried about it of course we have earnings coming up on 724 so that's after expiration next week all right we're done that was easy and keep an eye on Netflix today and um, that's pretty much what I'm going to stay focused on right now. So uh, have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, can't wait for Uncle Ben. Happy trading.